Welcome to Goofing Off Road. My name's Tony. The Bruder has a heating system that uses coolant like you'd get in a car radiator. The coolant reservoir is overflowing, so I'm going to add a catch can to it to capture the extra coolant and stop it leaking all over the inside. Let me show you how to do it. To do this install, you're going to need a 17mm wrench and a 6mm Allen key, a ratchet extension and 10mm socket, and a ratchet and 6mm socket, some window cleaner and hose cutters, a drill and a drill bit, some silicon and a marker. The parts you're going to need are an overflow catch can, some hose clamps, 90 degree elbows, 3 8 inch heater hose, and some sheet metal screws and washers to attach the catch can. Let's open the hatch and get to it. You can see here where the coolant's been leaking out of the coolant reservoir. I'm going to move this nozzle to the bottom of the catch can so the coolant can come in and drain out of the bottom as it needs to. Make sure to tighten these fittings up because they came loose from the factory. This looks like the perfect spot for the catch can. It's close to the reservoir and it's a little bit uphill so the coolant will drain back down if it starts to get full. With my catch can where I want it, I can mark where I want to drill the holes. I'm going to use a drill bit that's about the same width as the shank of the screw so that I don't damage anything when I put the screw in. Now I can drill my four holes. Before I put my screws in, I'm going to put some silicon in the holes to keep the dust out and the water out. Now I can screw the catch can into place. Now the catch can's installed, I'm going to put the piping in. I'm going to start off by adding a 90 degree elbow to the catch can. So I'm going to cut off a piece of pipe from my hose cutter and I'm going to spray some window cleaner to make it easier to put on the joints. It's much easier to put the hose clamps on first. Put our 90 degree fitting on here, clamp this guy up. We'll pop this on the catch can pointing at where we're going. and then we'll do this hose clamp up. Now I can measure a piece of hose to go from the 90 degree elbow to the coolant reservoir, and I'll cut it off, put it in, and put some hose clamps on it. Now I get to vacuum up. And I'm gonna clean the coolant off the top of the reservoir, so if it's leaking again, I can tell. That's it, now the catch can's installed. If we have any overflow, it will go into the catch can and there's a really cool sight glass on the side so you can see if there's any coolant in there. I hope this video was useful. Please like and subscribe for more cool videos.